I actually have always loved to drive and I learned to drive on a stick shift at the age of nine or ten and then also had my first accident at the age of 13. Yeah, cars have always been uh, important. I grew up in Soho back in the late 70s and early 80s. It was quite industrial, a lot of warehouses, a lot of factories, and it's sort of this exposure to industrial architecture that just always stimulated something visually in me. I'm a professional photographer. The thing about photography that always really attracted me to it was capturing that moment in time, creating a beautiful composition, documenting life as it happens. There's like beauty in everything if you look hard enough. Dilapidated buildings and structures and just seeing how time and the elements wear on something just create this beauty in and of itself. We always had family car. We had a Jeep Cherokee and it was just at the point where I was getting my driver's license. I'd been surfing already for years, so instead of taking the A train out to Rockaway, I was now able to pick up friends and it made all that much more accessible. To me, cars represent freedom. They represent adventure. I think the best adventures I've had were always behind the wheel of a car. And sometimes they're absolutely miserable, but they always tend to put a smile on your face at the end of the day. Growing up in an industrial neighborhood, I always learned to have an appreciation for kind of mechanical, industrial. That is what I've sort of become drawn to. And the Defender and these like older SUVs, just the simplicity of them, their boxy shape, their very mechanical operation, no computers, it's just their ideal. People recognize it right away, and people who are not familiar with it recognize it as something special. They seem like they are vehicles that you can just keep on the road for decades to come. The Land Rover went unchanged for the most part for 30 plus years, and it just has become so iconic, right? It's that vehicle you've seen in all those old movies on every safari, on farmlands in Europe. There was something about it that just really did it for me. There's a famous Land Rover expression about Land Rover turning owners into mechanics for 75 years. I definitely see the truth in that after years of experience with them, I found more fulfilling experience to do the work on the vehicles myself. I currently have four Defenders. The truck behind me was sort of my first Defender. I've had it for about 20 years now, and I built it up because I was doing a lot of off-roading and wanted a vehicle that I could drive on the street, but also take and do the Rubicon Trail in the spring, which this truck has done. In terms of all the money that I've spent and invested in time, I would definitely say it's worth it. I mean, it becomes part of who you are. It's part of what builds a person's character. I mean, it's like anything that we do. It's the kid who invests 20, 30 hours a week playing tennis to never go pro. I mean, that's not generally why we do things. It's, you know, you find something you're passionate about and you just pursue it and do it. It's the things that make you happy that are important in life. Mm -hmm.